In March this year, Professor Gupta from University College London presented a groundbreaking research in the search for a potential cure of HIV after a stem cell transplantation in his patient, now known as the London patient. Timothy Brown, a patient in Berlin, Germany, made global headlines when scientists announced that he has been cured of HIV. He is now rated the longest living adult with HIV remission after a bone marrow transplant by Professor Gupta to treat cancer in 2008. Eight. This individual um, uh, required a stem cell transplant to treat a life-threatening cancer that had uh, um, uh, been uh, unsuccessfully treated by multiple rounds of chemotherapy and so a stem cell transplant from a, another individual or an, what we call uh, uh, an unrelated donor was essential for his survival and uh, the transplant uh, doctors uh, in London uh, who I've been working with have uh, had identified somebody who carried this rare genetic mutation uh, as well as being very well matched um, uh, in terms of his tissue uh, to our individual and therefore the transplant succeeded um, uh, despite uh, the, the high mortality rate associated with such procedures of about 10 to 20 percent. Very useful for science and for giving hope to, um, to HIV positive people. I would like to meet the London patient very much uh, um, I would would say take your time in um, if you if you want to become public, do it. It's not really a burden that I'm going through um, with media and stuff like that. It's actually fun. The BIO Africa Convention, scheduled from August 26th to 28, 2019, will showcase Africa's biotechnology innovations in the health, agriculture, industrial sector, and is expected to bring business leaders, entrepreneurs, researchers, regulatory authorities, and policymakers under one roof. The platform also aims to reach the broader biotech community of Africa for the commercialization of local innovations and develop vaccines for HIV and other viral agents. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.